All right, now, I don't know if you can see this, but yo, this is freaking beautiful, man. If you can see this little mountain here, this is fucking amazing, yo. Like, you don't see this. I ain't even see stuff this beautiful in South America, man. Like, this is crazy. Man, I really hope my camera can do justice for what I see. This is one of the most beautiful things I've seen all freaking year, man. Like, look how amazing this is. And I'm right here outside of, uh, I'm at Game City Mall Shopping Center. Yo, this is freaking beautiful, man. Like, you don't see this in America. Like, a mountain like this with all the greens, you see the rocks sticking out. If uh, anybody in Botswana knows, like, what is the, is this like a, is this just a regular place? Or is this a, is it like a reserve or something? Like, yo, I just want to climb that, man. That is freaking amazing. I got to say, man, Botswana is freaking beautiful. This is a gorgeous country, man. Like, I can't wait to just start really traveling around here and seeing the natural beauty. All right, so we're at the Game City Shopping Center. Man, I hope I hope this really does a good job. Like, man, that's beautiful. No. Botswana is a beautiful country, man. Like, I'm gonna really have fun traveling around here and seeing the places, cause I'm a big nature guy, so. How you doing? I'm a big nature guy, so. The nature things that I'm seeing here, I think, I don't know, man, I think Botswana, I think Habarone have Johannesburg beat on the nature scene, scenery. So I'm definitely gonna be coming back here for a couple of months, maybe. All right, so this is Game City Mall. Uh, we'll walk this way, check it out. Oh, and one thing I want to talk about on camera, I want to talk about on TikTok also is, yes, a lot of people here speak English. Just about everyone speaks English, to be honest with you. Now, this is the thing that people don't understand. English is only universal when it comes to business. When it comes to interpersonal speaking, English is not a uh, universal language. Every country you go to that speaks English have different English meaning they use different words to describe or to talk about other things. Okay, so they have game in here also. And so because of that, there's this big misconception, especially with Americans. Here you go, boss. Oh, no problem. So there's a big misconception with Americans that English is English no matter where you go. That is not true at all. So one of the biggest hangups here so far in Africa, traveling around, has been I speak Southern American English. So because I speak Southern American English, it is not the same as um, other English. And this is one of the reasons why if you're someone outside of America and you're learning English, you can earn more money if you start making, if you start speaking American English. And so like really be mindful of that if you're American and also be mindful of that if you're not from America. There's a language barrier still within the English. So this is some really nice stuff here. They have some wallets here, passports, more beautiful clothes for the ladies. I'm telling you, if you're a woman, you definitely should come to Botswana. There's some really nice clothes here. I don't think game. I don't think game's gonna have anything vegan. There's no point looking there. 
And so that's just one of the things I wanted to talk about is like, we have to understand uh, English is just like every other language. Depending on the region and the location you go, it's, a, it's completely different. Like if I go to Louisiana, sometimes it's harder to understand people. If I go to Boston or New Jersey in America, yo, I don't understand them really. Usually I have to ask them like, hey, can you slow down? Can you enunciate a little different? And so it's the same everywhere you go. Uh, so here, the English here reminds me a little bit more of um, the European, the real European English. Uh, it's more of a proper English. And if you're familiar with American English, American English is a slang English. So those are completely different when you're having a social conversation. Now, when you're having a business conversation, the thing about it is American English, everyone knows how to speak business English. And you have to adjust the way you speak uh, depending on the country you're in. So even when I was living in South Korea, I had to adjust my English and get used to adjusting it compared to how they learn English. And that's one of the things that I'm doing here in South, not South Africa, but throughout Africa. Oh, this is a nice mall, man. Look how nice this is. And so your English, if you come here to Africa, you're gonna to have to adjust your English. How you doing? How you doing? Just camera. 